Hello and welcome to Ask Uster, where we answer your most frequent and relevant questions. My name is Gabriela Peters and I'm responsible for yarn laboratory products at Uster. Today I will talk about the Uster Tester 6 and how it measures the yarn hairiness and thus prevent claims. The Uster Tester 6 was introduced in 2015 and contains two hairiness sensors. The sensor OH is for the H value and the sensor HL is for the hairiness length classification. Customers ask very often why I need two hairiness sensors in my mill. And today I like to give you two examples. Let's start with a piece of fabric. It's a single jersey. And here you can see long protruding fibers. It looks like pilling and leads to a lack of sharpness in the printed fabric. If you were to deliver this product to your customer, they would probably complain. So what can you do to prevent this kind of fault? For this application, the sensor HL is perfect. This sensor measures the protruding fibers in seven length classes and offers two summary classes. The well-established S3 value, which equals fibers of 3 mm and longer, the S1 plus 2, which equals fibers in the length classes of 1 and 2 mm. Knowing the S3 value of your yarn provides directly relevant information about the fabric. A high S3 value means the yarn has a higher tendency for disturbing long protruding fibers. And this affects the fabric quality. With this information, the spinner can prevent claims. The other sensor is our OH sensor. This sensor measures the H value. This value is globally recognized as benchmark and is used in yarn trading. The H value can be found as Uster hairiness in the Uster statistics. This information helps users to get a better understanding of yarn quality and is building the bridge between the spinning mill and the yarn users. Let's summarize. These examples clearly show the need for two heaviness sensors. The sensor HL is used as an indicator for fabric durability and in yarn engineering. On the other hand, the sensor OH is used for the detection of periodical falls and is building the bridge between the spinning mill and the yarn users. For more information, please visit our website uster.com. Thank you for watching and think quality.